and welcome to Britain Unleashed Tiny Travel Tips number 12. Um, this is another one that is an answer to a survey question, and this is another one where I could go on for hours because I love the subject. The question was, what's your favorite castle? I've seen, I counted them once, and it's something in the vicinity of 50 castles, probably more by now because I've seen it more since I've made that count. But one of them, for some reason, really stands out. It's not the most complete castle. It is considered a ruin, but I just loved it. And part of the reason I loved it is because I could take the dogs there. So without any further ado, my favorite castle that I've seen out of the 50 or so in Wales, Scotland, and England is Warkworth Castle. And Warkworth Castle, Warkworth, is it's a ruined medieval castle. It's up in you can see it's way up north. So here's London. Warkworth Castle is up here in um, Northumberland near Amble. So I'm just going to zoom in. It's north of Newcastle. So it's, you know, darn near up in Scotland. That's how far it is. I loved it. It's amazing. It's just south of Annick. So here's Annick and it looks like Alnwick, A-L-N-W-I-C-K. And for those of you who are Harry Potter fans, um, Annick Castle is where they uh, film the uh, flying scenes where Harry and the rest of them learned how to fly on their brooms. So Orkworth is just a little bit southeast of Annick. And yes, I've been, been to Annick Castle and I did like it. It's just people still live there. Um, but I don't know, for some reason I liked Warkworth better. Uh, so Warkworth is actually sitting on the banks of a river, right on it. I'm going to zoom in here. And if you can see it, it says the river, and it looks like Coquet, but it's the river Coquet. So if you're in England and you go to Warkworth, pronounce it the River Coquit. So a couple of pictures of Warkworth. This is the entrance to it. And I just love it. I went there first without the dogs. And then I went there a second time once I realized I could take the dogs. So here's a view from um, up above, looking out over the landscape there. And that's the North Sea that you can see from up there. And there's proof that the dogs were in the castle. There's Holly and Jerry inside Warkworth Castle. And there they are being very, very good. So this is another view. This is why it's considered a ruin. Well, because it is, but still, it's amazing. I don't know. I just loved it. I thought it was spectacular, even though there's not a whole lot of it left. So here is our little tour of Warkworth. There's the entrance gate again, and another view of it from a little further outside across the road. Oh, yep, selfie. I was doing selfies before selfies were popular, so I'm not going to say I invented it, but I was doing selfies ages ago. And this is Holly walking along the shore of the River Coquit because you can actually leave the castle, walk out of the castle, and um, walk along the banks of the river and get to, um, I think it's called a hermitage. It's where a hermit used to live, and you can take a little boat if they happen to be running it then across to it and walk through the caves. I'm not sure if I have any pictures of those or not. But uh, yeah, so here we are, more work with Castle. More proof that the dogs and I were there. And that's one of my favorite pictures of Jerry Lee inside the grounds of Warkworth. Inside the castle, uh, they do have to be on lead. But as you saw from when they were walking along the banks of the River Coquit, they don't have to be on lead after that. So unleashed outside the castle. Anyway, that's it. That is our little tour of Warkworth Castle. And um, yeah, hope you, hope you enjoyed it. So that is my favorite castle so far. But so far, I would say Warkworth is my favorite castle in the UK. All right. Thanks. That's Britain Unleashed Tiny Travel Tips. Bye.